Guys and gals, I thought I would make a quick video. I've stopped reading books. I was a big reader, man. I used to read every single night, every single day. I love books, I still love books. But I stopped reading, I stopped all these productive habits. I stopped meditating, I stopped taking cold showers. I started taking coffee like pretty frequently. Um, I never used to listen to music in the gym, started listening to music and overall just picked up some habits I'm like, older version of me wouldn't be so proud of however the point of this video is to um document the lesson i've learned throughout adopting these new habits and dropping other seemingly good and productive habits and that lesson is that nothing has fucking changed um except that i now make way more money I used to have a really long morning routine and I convinced myself that I needed one where I needed to wake up, meditate, journal, take a cold shower, uh, and do a whole bunch of shit before I ever got to work. But these past, I'd say two, three months, I've just gotten out of bed, literally rolled out of bed and into this car, gone to work on my business, came home, went to the gym, barely talked to anybody. No fucking meditation, no cold shower, nothing. Warm shower at night, because it's been winter. Yeah, coffee in the morning, stimulant. I've just dropped a lot of a, a lot of seemingly productive habits. And, and what I've learned is that you don't need any of that shit to be productive because I'm, I'm now making, I'm now in a position where I'm making like three grand a week, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I had a 10K revenue month last month in my business as a university dropout. This month, I'm on track to do like uh, 15K, so that's good. You know, the more money I make, it's actually a subtraction equation. So the, the more I take away from my schedule, the more money I make. So if you have, let me give you an example. If you have your schedule, you have your calendar, and it says meditate, shower, you know, you know how people have these productive routines, right? And they need to stick to it in order to feel like they can do any work. Well, the more things you add, the more your focus will be divided. So what actually matters is that you just do the one or two things that actually move the needle in your business. For me, that was um, closing deals, talking to clients, you know, whatever. And so having cut out all these things from my daily routine, right, waking up and going straight to work, literally like five minutes after I wake up, I'm in the car, I don't shower. People who shower in the morning are weird, bro. You're gonna shower, go throughout your whole day, get all sweaty and gross, and then shower again at night. Makes no sense, it's inefficient. That's a side tangent, side tangent. So, I wake up, five minutes later, I'm in the car working on my business. I used to meditate before I would ever do anything. Uh, and I'd have a routine where I couldn't check my phone within the first like two hours of waking up or something, which, if I'm being honest, is probably optimal for health. I'm a lot more stressed lately. Like at any moment, I just feel like I could, just feel like I could like explode into flames. I'm a lot more stressed. However, I also make a lot more money. And the first thing I now do is check my phone when I wake up to see what clients have messaged me. Um, I drink coffee, which I never used to. Uh, I basically do the reverse of like all the healthy habits I was doing. And honestly, having subtracted my entire morning routine and all the things I thought were necessary, I've actually found that I can just laser focus in on what's actually needing to be done and subsequently I've made more money. So I think the way to go about this is for long-term health, you probably should do those things like unplug from your phone when you wake up, uh, make some time to meditate or do what you need to do but maybe there's a season for that maybe you don't have to do that all the time maybe i can just go make 100 grand this summer and then you know in the winter i can focus on my mental health again and all that shit because it's just like it's plummeting right now but i'm making money so the money is making me happy but like i'm just stressing myself out so it's like it, they're countering out each other so i'm just in a neutral state <laughs> or i guess a pretty stressed state but I don't know. I'm managing. I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah. Most things you do, do not actually move the needle towards your goal. Um, which is why you need to subtract things from your routine and not add more things because you just make yourself more distracted. So 
it's basically mental masturbation when you take a cold shower or read a self-improvement book or do this or that you're just convincing yourself you're being productive but you're not actually uh contributing towards your goals now you know i don't have everything figured out right certainly not i'm learning so much and you know if you don't want to live like with bags under your eyes constantly and like in a semi stressed out state 24 7 uh highly caffeinated then i don't suggest you listen to me right if one of your goals is improving your mental health or whatever then making time to unplug and all that makes a lot of sense right now my goal is just to get filthy fucking rich <laughs> so it makes sense that my goal is kind of um i don't know i just throw out everything else really i go to the gym to maintain my health of course train every day uh, but everything else you know i handle my emotions and anxiety with stoicism i develop my emotional tolerance through you know real world tests i don't make time to meditate um my productivity hasn't dropped since i've taken cold showers I was recording a video. Oh, really? Yes. Oh my god. I made it better, didn't I? Uh, no. Alright, so I'm just waiting for this guy to get his uh, vest for running. We're gonna go for a run tonight. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, you know, I stopped taking cold showers and meditating and all this bullshit. And nothing's changed, man. The only thing that counts towards whether or not you achieve your goal is if you're doing the actions or not you can you, you can have a goal of making 10 grand a month or you know being the best student you can be or becoming an athlete or whatever the goal is you can achieve that goal while you're eating junk food and scrolling tiktok and watching porn and without meditating without cold showers doing all of this bullshit you can achieve your goal without any of that you can achieve your goal while doing a bunch of degenerate shit as well as not doing any good habits and you can still achieve your goal as long as you do the one or two things that really move the needle in your business so yeah just a quick lesson this channel is all about documenting my lessons and like what i'm learning what's going through my head at uh, any given time and this is just something that i've thought about recently that was pretty cool I, I was like, I was waking up constantly and I was like, fuck me, I'm really stressed. Like I used to meditate uh, right now, but instead I just go straight to checking my phone and uh, closing deals. Yeah, you know, having cut out a lot of shit, I'm in a position where I'm doing decently well for myself, certainly not where I want to be. Um, but it's interesting that there's a correlation between cutting things out and actually making more money it's 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 not about adding things to your routine it's about taking away so anyways if you enjoyed that little lesson rant tidbit you can uh subscribe to the channel just documenting my life lessons business fitness journey um yeah i'm gonna go hit this run and go to bed and wake up and not meditate and just go straight to work Nickels and dimes, baby. Nickels and dimes. Oh. Oh.